So the day of uh, reckoning is finally here, Norman. They've all come out in the sunshine, lovely weather for it. How pleased are you to see them out here in the public for the first time? Do you know what? I'm really chuffed <laughs> and delighted. So it's a, it's, a, it's a massive day for the hospice and we're all immensely pro because it's a big team effort to get 39 large pigs on the streets and 30 junior pigs into stores and uh, libraries. Feedback so far, Twitter's gone mad. What we're hoping for is it looks start trending on Twitter. So hashtag pigs gone wild. We re would love to see it trending, we really would. The artists have been brilliant. The designs are, are just fabulous, all of them. There, there is not a, a, a bad design amongst them. They're all brilliant designs. And they should be very proud of what they've done. Part of this campaign obviously is fundraising, but it's a massive PR for the hospice as well, to get people to, to, to recognize the hospice and the work that it does. And it's, it's not just a place where people go to die. That's the perception of hospices. The hospice is a place where people can go to live. And that's, that's, that's the message, really. We, we help people you know, who are terminally ill or people with progressive illnesses to, to live the best they can. So at the end of the 10 weeks, that's a really crunch day for us, so how much we're going to raise. And we hope that the business community and people throughout the region and also the country will, will be very generous and will bid lots of money for our pigs. How do you think it's going to go over the next 10 weeks? Obviously there's been a lot of interest today. Do you see that growing throughout the display? I think it will grow because uh, the more people that get to know about it, they'll come and do the trail, they'll come back and do it again. It's right through the summer, children's holidays. It's going to be, to use a, a term from our North American friends, awesome.